He was the smartest boy in the village. He built a small windmill and showed it to his father, explaining that this was wind energy. If they built a larger windmill and connected it to a motor, they could bring water to the village and the dry crops could become green again. But for that, he would need to break his father's bicycle. Hearing this, his father beat him badly and stopped him from going to school. However, it hadn't rained in the village for six months and all the crops had dried up. The land began to crack from the heat and there wasn't a single grain of food left. Everywhere, only hungry people could be seen. In this situation, a tobacco company offered to buy trees from the villagers. Some people refused to sell their trees, but the hungry ones sold all of theirs because if they didn't, they would die of hunger anyway. Soon, the rainy season arrived, and heavy rains washed away whatever little crops were left. Even after the rain, the drought in the village did not end. The boy's father sold the tin roof of their house to buy some grains, but the traders had increased the prices. At that time, the government sent some grains for the villagers, but the supply was too little, and the villagers had been hungry for months. This led to chaos and stampedes. Now, only the boy could help the villagers. He went to the junkyard with his friends and searched for materials to build the windmill. There he found a battery and a water pump. All he needed now was his father's bicycle. He went to his father and tried to convince him to give the bicycle. This time, his father agreed, but tears welled up in his eyes as he watched his bicycle being dismantled. With the help of the villagers, the boy built the windmill. He brought the pump from home and placed a pipe into the well. Then, he connected the electric wires to the windmill. As soon as the wind blew, the windmill started spinning, and after a while, water began to flow from the pump. 